Hey, this is Joe with Personas. Today I'm going to show you how Studio One can help you combine left and right mono audio files into a single stereo file. And no, it doesn't require mix down. It actually doesn't even require bringing the tracks into a song. I'll show you exactly how to do it right now. Okay, real quick. When you get tracks from someone, or maybe you download tracks to practice mixing, you may find occasionally that they look like this. You've got an overhead left and an overhead right. Okay, these are two individual mono audio files. Now I can leave them like that and I can come down here in the mixer and I can pan one left and I can pan the other right. But what if I want to put a compressor or an EQ on them? Well, I could put it on the first channel and then copy it to the second, but that's a dumb way to work. I'd much rather put it on a single stereo track or a stereo bus. So in this situation, I could do this. I could select both, right click, and choose add bus for selected channels. That creates this bus that we could call OH bus. Now, both of these channels are routed here. Now I have a single fader for controlling the volume of my overheads, and I can throw EQs, compressors, whatever I want on this bus track, and that will apply to the stereo sound, right? You probably knew that already, but maybe what you didn't know is you can actually take these audio tracks and combine them into a single stereo file, the only catch is you can't do it here inside of Studio One in the Arranger. You have to do it over in the Files window. Let me show you how. So I'm going to delete those for a second. And we're going to come over to our Files tab. So over here on the right-hand side of Studio One, by the way, this is where you get to your instruments and effects. This is the pool of all songs in the session. But this is like a file browser. Okay, And I would recommend using this more because it's a pretty cool part of the workflow. So for example, if someone sent me tracks to mix, I would drop them into my downloads folder. This tab up here can be customized. So we can create a new tab and we can, like right here, I have a tab to my downloads folder. Here's my Studio One folder. Here's one of my hard drives. Here's my Dropbox. But the downloads folder right here shows up. And so I can very quickly scroll down and find the, the file that I just downloaded from this client who wants me to mix this song. Here's the, here's the file here. Now, before I drag these into Studio One, which I can certainly do, I always like to take a look to see if there are any left and rights in here, because occasionally you'll get that. So right here, we see it on the overheads. I don't think there's anywhere else in this song. I think we're good. Uh, so here, we've got a mono left overhead and a mono right overhead. I would rather that be a single stereo track called Overhead. So all I have to do here is in this file window, This remember this doesn't work in the pool, it only works in files, it also doesn't work over here in the arranger. It's only, at least currently here in the file window, I can select both, so click the first one, hold down shift, click the second one, then I right click and it gives me some options, one of which is merge to stereo file. I click that and just in a couple of moments we see this pop up. Now, we could delete these if we wanted to. Uh, yeah, delete those. Now I have a single stereo overhead file. Nothing's changed with the audio. It hasn't messed with the sound quality or anything. It's just done what we needed to do without having to add extra buses and all that extra work and also take up that extra real estate on our mixer inside of Studio One. So there you go. In files, if you get in the habit of bringing your tracks in from the files page here, then you can catch this stuff before it gets in. Otherwise, if you bring them in and you realize, oh, it's a left and a right, you'll have to come back to the files area and do this process and then bring them back in, if that makes sense. All right, that's it. Have fun.